Hello, my dear class 10 students, welcome back. Today we'll continue with the part three of uh, chapter 12, electricity from physics portion, okay? So our topic today would be electric circuit. Electric circuit. So what is electric circuit? It is a closed continuous path, okay? It is a closed continuous path. through which electric, through which current flows, okay, or it is, it is a closed continue, continuous part through which current flows. Now, students, here uh, I will give you a circuit diagram, okay, circuit diagram. So, circuit diagram will be this way, we'll have, we'll have a, a cell, okay, a cell, a cell, okay, and a group of cell is known as battery, okay, and cell means this is just single, okay, now one or two or more, okay, two or more cells will become battery, okay, now these are the connecting wire, okay, these are the connecting wire. And this one means the bulb, okay, bulb. So this is connecting wire, and this is the emitter, okay, emitter. We have discussed in last class, right? So this is a device for measuring electric current. And I'm just showing you a simple circuit diagram, okay, which is connected in series. This is not in parallel, okay. And then we have here a switch. Okay, so here the current flows. Okay, that means current is flowing from here and then it will go come in this direction. Okay, as soon as we put on, as soon as we switch on this uh, plug, now the current will flow from the positive end. Clear? So that is how this bulb will blow, right? So this is bulb, clear? This is bulb, this is cell, this is plug, this is emitter, and this is a connecting wire, connecting wire. So this is a simple circuit diagram, okay? So circuit, if you are asked what is circuit diagram, it is a schematic diagram which represents the relative, okay, relative position and connection, okay, connection of all these uh, electric, uh, connection in an electric circuit, okay. So this is a rough schematic diagram. So certain things you have to know is students, this is the sign of there are certain symbols which are used, okay, to make this uh, circuit diagram. So this is the resistance. Or it is also known as resistor. Resistance and resistor, these are the same thing. Now, what is this resistance? This resistance is uh, nothing, but this is, it is used to oppose, okay? It used to resist the flow of charge. Now, there is a current flowing. If there is a current flowing, means there will also be a resistance, okay, to oppose. Now, if this is the current flowing, okay, then there will be a resistance as well. It goes hand in hand, okay. Presence of current means presence of resistance. So we'll talk about this in detail in next topic. Now, like I said, this one is a cell, okay. This one is a cell and this one would be a battery. Battery means combination of two or more cells is the battery. The battery that we use is, a, is made up of group of cells, okay? And this one is emitter, okay? We have already discussed, right? Now this one is galvanometer. This one is voltmeter. Clear. Now, students see, uh, this one, this means the switched, uh, this is the plug, okay, this is plug, 
Now, if this one means it is open, if this one means it's a close, clear? This one means it's close, this is open. Now, the current will flow when the plug is closed, right? We have to switch on. When we are switching on the plug means current is flowing. Clear? When we are switching on means the plug is closed. Or it can also be shown by this, uh, in this way, okay? This is the plug. Clear? This means the plug is closed. And if the plug is open, you can also show in this way. Clear? That means the plug is open, right? And this one means it's closed. So instead of this one, we can also use this one. Clear? So uh, we have, we can, this is a real stat, okay? This is a real stat. This is a straight line would be a connecting wire, right? A connecting wire. And this is the bulb, clear? So these are the symbols which are used, which are connected, clear? So electric circuit, it is a closed continuous path, right? Closed continuous path where the current flows, okay? And a circuit diagram is a schematic diagram, okay? Which shows the relative position and connection of all these symbols, okay? Circuit, okay? So that is all about this electric circuit. Now we'll discuss about the Ohm's law, okay? Okay, so students, our next topic is Ohm's law, okay? Ohm's law, in a simple word, let me explain. See, if this is a conductor, okay? I'm just giving an example. If this is a conductor, and if here, this is the current, okay? This is the, uh, this is the amount of current that is flowing through this, conductor, then it says that the electric current, this one is proportional to, it is, let's say this is the conductor, okay, conductor. So it is saying that the electric current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across its two ends, okay. So in simple word, they are saying that potential difference is directly proportional to electric current. If this much work is being done, okay, if this much work is being done, then it is equal to the current. If 10 ampere of current is flowing through this conductor, okay, if 10 ampere of current is flowing through this conductor, then the potential difference, they are saying it is 10 volt. So it goes hand in hand. Like one ampere would be one volt. Okay, now two ampere would be two volt. So Ohm's law states that the electric current flowing through a conductor is directly pro uh, proportional, okay? Is directly proportional to the potential difference across its ends. Clear? So this is simply, this is Ohm's law. Okay, let me repeat it. Ohm's law, in exam, you might get this type of question. Stat Ohm's law. Okay, stat, stat Ohm's law. Right here. Stat Ohm's law. Then you'll say that the electric current, okay, the electric current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to potential difference across its ends. Clear. That means it will go hand in hand. And you will be asked to draw the graph as well, okay? A, a graph, you, uh, or a simply VI graph, okay? VI graph. But the pot, since the potential difference and the current is proportional, right? So, see. This is the sign of proportional, clear? This is the sign of proportional. Clear? So if the current is one ampere, that means this will be one volt. If this is two ampere, then this will be two volt. If this is three volt, means it will be four, uh, three volt. So this law states that V and I are proportional, okay? Now, uh, I told you that, you know, if there is a current flowing, then there is a resistance as well, right? So resistance is nothing but it is 
to flow uh, to oppose the flow of current okay to oppose or to resist the flow of current so we have to remove this proportional constant right so where r so this r means the resistance okay is a proportional constant so r is a constant and we are using this to remove the proportional okay so here we get another formula so when v and i are there there is r as well okay so from here students if you are asked to uh, calculate the resistance we can use this formula okay from here we can use this current formula as well from here we can find that this v is one formula here clear now if we have to find the resistance students then see v is i is equal to r right so therefore resistance is potential difference by i from here we get another formula this is the second formula from ohm's law we can calculate the resistance in this way and if we are asked to calculate the electric current i means electric current okay so if we're asked to calculate the electric current from this ohm's law then we have this v is equal to ri right then we have to find this one then we can simply write v by r is equal to i Okay, so that means I is equal to V by R. So this is the third formula. Okay, so this is the Ohm's law. And from here we can calculate the resistance in this way, as well as we can calculate the electric current in this way. Clear? Now, this resistance means resistance, okay? Resistance means to oppose the flow of electric current clear it is nothing but to oppose or to resist the flow of charge clear so we will solve one numerical okay based on this ohm's law okay so my dear students will solve this uh, question together okay now the question is c when a 12 volt battery this is the potential difference okay volt is connected across an unknown resistor there is a current of 2.5 milliampere students see this is the current clear this is the current and they have given in milliampere so we have to convert it into ampere okay so from milliampere to ampere we will multiply it with this one okay to convert into ampere now in the circuit find the value of resistance so students uh, answer okay given we have potential difference means v right potential difference is 12 volt okay now current current is 2.5 milliampere so we have to convert this one into ampere right so 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 here okay so now oh, the conversion is done okay we have this vi now they are asking r so students what relation we are going to use here students the relationship that we are going to use is ohm's law right ohm's law now what is the formula what is the relation ohm's law means v is i r right so we have v is given here we have current that is i so we have to find this one clear so this is a numerical based on ohm's law okay numerical based on ohm's law so well i'll continue here okay students so from ohm's law okay from ohm's law we have V is equal to IR, okay? So this is the relation you should keep in mind, okay? And uh, you have to be familiar with this relation because this is very important 
Now we have V is, it's already given 12 volt, right? And we have the current is 2.5 into 10 ampere, right? And this resistance is what we have to find. See, clear? This resistance is what we have to find. So students, now, since we have to find the resistance, we write R is equal to, clear? See, if we do the cross multiplication means it will be 12 by 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3. Clear? So here we are just changing the side, okay? We are changing the side. Since we have to find this one, we are changing the side. R is here. Now, if this one goes like towards the other side, it will be in the denominator, okay? So this now we'll just do division and we'll get the answer. So uh, we'll divide first. We'll, you just keep it, this one you keep it as it is to make it simple. Now we'll divide these two, okay? We'll divide these two. So 12 by 2.5 will get uh, 2, 4. 2 into 4 is 8, right? And then here we'll get 200. So it will be by 4.8. So we'll get 4.8 by 10 to the power minus 3, right? So students, now what we can do is 4.8 into 10 to the power 3. If this one, if it goes to the numerator, then it will become plus, okay? Now here in the numerator, it is minus 3, right? But if we shift this one to the numerator, then it will become Plus. So this is our answer, okay? So now students, the SI unit of resistance is ohm, okay? See, SI unit, SI unit of resistance is ohm, O-H-M. Clear? Now what is the sign of ohm? We don't write, see, now this is resistance, right? So we don't show like this, okay? We show the symbol. This is the symbol for ohm. Okay, this is the symbol for ohm, see. So, we'll write, clear. So, this is our answer. The resistance is 4.8 into 10 to the power three ohm, okay. So, students, in this way, we can uh, solve n number of numerical just using this relation. And this relation from where we got from Ohm's law. So, Ohm's law is very important. So go through it, okay? It is nothing but it is, uh, it states that electric current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across its ends, okay? So students, that is all for today. We'll continue with another interesting topic in the next class. Thank you.